round two of deathmatch. This time we've got two enemies with us. Guy stole my kill. Stole my kill again. Alright, not too and too good to start out. There's a much bigger variety of weapons here than on the first level. Where we only had the rocket launcher, shock rifle, and enforcer. This impact hammer weapon you have here is one of your default weapons. You have to be right next to someone to kill them. And you can kill them in one hit if you can manage to land it. But I am really bad at it. And usually just end up getting myself killed when I'm that close. So I'm going to run away until I find another gun. Which will hopefully be soon. Oh, hey, look at that. I got him. Got him again. That's a secondary fire right there, the grenade. Now, this level actually has two variations. We're playing the original smaller variation of it. Later on, I believe we'll get to play the bigger version. Uh, a lot of these shutter doors are open, and it just opens up new a uh, access to the different parts of the level. Some secrets and some more additional weapons. You can see the frame rate is still running fairly smoothly uh, on this level. It's one of the smaller levels, plus there's only two bots. Uh, you can see a little bit of slowdown right there. Um, when you're doing a one-on-one -on -one match on pretty much any level, the game runs very smoothly. But as soon as you get two bots, usually around three, and it's a bigger level, the frame rate does start to dip down quite a bit. It's still very playable, but I mean, it's, it's definitely not the PC version. Uh, I'm not sure how it compares to the PS2 version. The same goes for multiplayer if you're actually playing with uh, different, uh, if you're playing with friends uh, and they have four controllers plugged in. With two people it works okay, um, but as soon as you get up to three and four, the game is almost unplayable. The, the frame rate drops down to about ten frames per second and the music even stops on a lot of rounds just so that uh, the Dreamcast can handle it, which is too bad. Online play is quite nice though. Um, if you're still, you actually are still able to play this game online. There's private servers set up, and the frame rate on that actually maintains pretty consistent. The only thing you have to be concerned about is the lag with 56k modems. All right, so I'm on a dominating spree here. Not not doing too bad. Gotta get to 20 kills. Oh, guys are just running at me. Alright, one more kill and then we've won this match. Well, that was close. And there we go. Oh, only died one time.